it could be you. And you do not know. The person you are still calling a sinner yesterday, we could not, you may not know that that person had come out, he has to his account with God. I will tell you physically, physically, many years ago, I was in my institution. And then when I saw, and there was a lady in my campus, or in, this, in the Christian fellowship where we were. And this lady had a issue with a pastor. And then she fell, I mean, uh, there was a, a kind of immorality between both of them. And she personally came to come and meet me because she believed that uh, if she didn't come and meet me, I would easily know uh, that I would know because many of them see around me, they knew that one time God has given me a privilege, I can easily say, and say something is happening, this is happening, this is happening. And so before I knew, she came to tell me. Of course, I did not even know. God didn't tell me anything about it. And she came to tell me what happened. I didn't believe her because I said, ah, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Eventually, the whole thing became escalated. And this lady was disciplined. The pastor too was disciplined. And uh, one day, because of that, I didn't want to have close relationship uh, with that kind of person. She was looking for me to see me and everything. Oh, nothing was going on between us. I was being careful that uh, somebody that had, that made someone who... Let's continue to call upon the name that like God will take total control over uh, the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. No one among us will go empty handed. We be challenged from the network, network. maybe because of one thing or the others, do not forget the 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 blessing. But along the line, they have been the blessing has been woke up somewhere. Until it was released. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ as our daddy. As ready to bless everyone of us today. Mm. Nothing will be an obstacle. Mm. Call upon him. Call upon him. That it will be a channel of blessing. It will be a source of blessing. It will be direction of blessing to others in your family, to your wife, to your husband, to your children. As I've been saying this year, it's a year of mercy. And I want you, I want you to rule it out. My dear father, my dear brother, my dear mom, everybody on the line. I want you to rule it out. Things are changing in your family this year in Jesus' name. How is going to do it? There's not that that does not concern you. That does not concern you. The Bible lets me know. It says, learn from that tree. Learn from what is happening in our environment. I'm not a politician. I'm not involved. I don't know uh, what, uh, I know what is going on, but I'm not involved. I'm, I don't care because my blessing is not from uh, anybody. It's not from any other person. But look at what happened. In the angle here, the predator that this man will not win. In the other side, the predator that this one of man will not win. Some people will even say there's no election total on that day. Only tomorrow, I do not know, but that man win. So if something mm. like that can happen, what about you? What your situation, God cannot change. What are you passing through that God cannot change? What your wife is passing through that God cannot change? What your husband is passing through that God cannot change? What your children is passing through that what you God cannot change? Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. My dear brother, my dear sister, the Lord. Don't limit yourself. 
in the name don't of Jesus. Don't limit yourself. Ah, Baba. Oh, don't right. limit yourself. This is a new okay. era. America president that say you want to see ER. Uh, you are older, but my father is calling ER. Uh, what do you want me to do? So if God is having appointment to you today. Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, that situation, that environment, that thing, that the purpose. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. Ah, and by the power and the Lord of Jesus Christ. That situation is changing this morning in Jesus' name. Many times, I don't know if you take notes. We, are, we find it difficult to say. Except people ah, overcome something or the Lord, other. To say, I just come to I just come Lord, to praise the name of the Lord. Nothing more, not here. If that is your situation this morning. Not because you will have one thing or the other that is that 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 is that is that 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 is that is that is look like a pain in your body, like look like a thorn. Oh, what because you are so used to the prayer, because you are its ambassador, because you are its prayer warrior, because you are the one that only wants to be in its vicinity every time. I congratulate you. What is still worship? What is still worship? You will not lose your still worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, many of us. We have one thing or the other that is biting us. And we know we have no any other God. Jesus Christ asked them. All of them have gone. Do you want to live too? Then Peter quickly said, where should we go? You know, you are the life that have eternal world that can do all things. Now we have come to our, our own God. Almighty oh, Father, present yourself. I don't want you to play. Mom, I don't want you to play. Dad, I don't want you to play. My dear, my dear pastor, I don't want you to play. I've not been hearing your name. I've not been hearing your family name. I've not been hearing what you are doing. All what we know is in your vicinity. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. My dear father, the Lord. All three of us that is online this morning, break the yoke. Break the yoke. I want you to break the yoke. The yoke of limitation that is wrong me in your family. The yoke, the, 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 the yoke of limitation that is wrong me in my family. The yoke of limitation. Oh, yes, I'm okay. In the name of Jesus. I didn't know. I'm not able to feed my child. I don't know what my child will take to school. The next week. I don't know what we are going to eat next morning. And the first time of us, God will be blessed. The yoke of limitation. To even raise other people up. And what? Be destroyed the in the name of, of Jesus. This morning, by the power in the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, we are having appointments Jesus. in the Lord. Set me free. In we are having appointments in the Lord. If the Pastor Lord Peter Jesus. is there, uh, I want him to be ready. That anointing that broke the yoke. Make, uh, by the power in the, 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 the,
just because of what she did for things. The lady said she could not even understand. She could not even believe. This story I'm telling you was still very fresh just two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, the father asked to now pray for her, and then she left. And now we are believing God that this year God will say to her, this is what Amen. I'm telling you about. The world is terrible. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Whatever negative utterance, demonic utterance that have been issued against me in my lonely hour, when I did not even know anything about it, Father, in mm. the name of Jesus today, I decree, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified. Yes, Terminate it now in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I don't know Amen. whether someone is connected, but someone, there's a case at where this man is 52 years old. 52 years old. He'll be 50, 53 years old this year. He has not married. He has never been in a relationship. Most of the relationship on phones, you know, some of the, these people go on Facebook and then go. The day he mentioned, to, he mentioned to someone that was going to get married to, and then both of them, he traveled from his base to another person, to so that lady's base. The lady saw him, and they've been talking quite very well. They've been talking so well. But then the lady saw him, and he said he's no longer interested. He said, why? He begged, begged, begged. The lady would not listen. And he left while they were shouting as usual. And the lady said, because the day he set her eyes, she set her eyes on him, he saw travel mark. He said that travel mark was the issue. This brother, this particular <laughs> brother did not tell me. He just, someone gave him my, my phone my phone number or my contact and he called me and we're talking on phone i've not seen him before and we're talking on phone and i said they should use his hand his right hand to uh, rub the face i told him use your right hand to what uh, rub your face i said okay he did it and then he I asked him a question i said what did you see he said just a little i said there's a cobweb every time a, you, a lady sees you this is a problem they will always say they are not interested it is not because of your travel mask. There is a cobweb that is chasing you away from people. It was somebody that altered it, but I was scared not ever to mention it. And this is the person he was always talking to. I told this man, I said, please, try as much as possible to keep the secret. Because now another person who was to travel from Ibadan to Lagos to meet with another person now that was saying, he now said, I should pray. I said, shut your mouth and don't tell anybody in your family until mm. everything is out. I will tell you at the right time when you will tell them. So you see, it left. Two days later, he called me. He said he was going to the, the person that said he has to tell the mother because the mother has been on, on his I said, yay. I told the boy, I could not talk that something. Listen to me. It's not, uh, it's not online, but I can tell you people. This person, it is the mother that is behind at his case. 52 years. And you see, there are three men in their family. Three of them. The least of them is 30, 36 or 37. It's not yet married. This is the thing that is happening. Somebody out of I profess ah, with this man that I used to pray. By the authority in the name of Jesus and by the blood that was shed at Calvary. I stand upon the word of God, the word that never fails. If there be anyone under the sound of my voice or anything more connected to this program in any other social media, I decree that you are facing issue that altar, utterances are being uttered against you, working against you today. I command.